I'm your host Effie Pilarino and uh, today I'll be talking about the news insights from the companies that are profiled in the Wealth Tech Report, the inaugural Wealth Tech Report around blockchain's impact on asset and wealth management, both as an infrastructure and as the backbone for a completely new digital asset class. So just a few picks, quick bites and important. I'm going to start with a little bit of hardcore professional economic research data that comes from on-chain transactions from the company Chainalysis. Recent uh, very detailed analysis, and you can look at the report, it shows that there's been a differentiation in the cryptocurrency space that up until last year or early this year was all moving like one single asset. There was no differentiation. Right now, data shows that both Bitcoin and Tether are viewed by uh, market participants more as a store of value and Ethereum is less viewed as a store of value, but rather the uh, crypto that is powering the decentralized finance uh, growth that we have seen this year. So Chainalysis, check out um, their detailed uh, reports. Their numbers also show um, the, the amount of Bitcoin that has uh, moved. Uh, uh, again, it's um, it, since March, it's about uh, 12 billion worth in dollars. It's about 1 million Bitcoins that um, have moved along with the two companies we know that have um, uh, invested in their treasury in Bitcoin. Now, after this, I want to jump into a couple of investment products. The company Ficas, uh, based out of Switzerland, that launched uh, one of the first actively traded or actively managed uh, rather uh, crypto certificates on the, the six exchange, two products uh, there and what they are reporting, both of them, an older one called AIDA and the, the newer one, the um, BT Cap one, uh, they are both outperformed Bitcoin in the month uh, of, of September. Again, reinforcing the data that Chainalysis reports that we're starting to see that it is meaningful to look into uh, alternative strategies or active uh, strategies. Along the same uh, lines, I want to uh, brief you on two more uh, innovative investment products. One from the company Crescofin, again profiled in the report, Crescofin is innovating in the deposit space, offering high yielding deposit accounts. This is not crypto, it's on fiat right now on euros, dollars and Swiss francs, fully insured from, from Lloyds, really taking advantage of the efficiencies of, of banks, a product uh, that is definitely uh, should be appealing in this type of environment where in Europe at least we have nominal negative interest rates and, and real negative interest rates um, more or less in all the developed world. Uh, last but not least in terms of investment product area to invest the marketplace uh, that um, uh, structures products and, and uh, allows investors, both retail and asset managers, to, to search and find efficiently new investment opportunities in a compliant way, has, uh, um, uh, is, is offering a product that is around real estate. It's um, a five-year bond with a fixed coupon. Uh, the interest um, rate that is fixed is 425% and additionally there's a variable interest that uh, it's, it comes from the revenues uh, 
uh, from rental uh, summer homes in Mallorca. You can see more details on area to invest. These are genuinely alternative uh, investments. Um, in, in the second case, we're talking about a kind of an asset-backed uh, security. And now, again, compliance as much as area to invest invest um, focuses and stresses compliance and, and all the processes built are compliant and cross-border compliant too. Uh, Descent, uh, the, the company that provides um, the backbone technology for tokenization is reporting this month a new client, uh, Flogtech, which is um, a, a, a top liquidity a provider in the cryptocurrency space. They have chosen the, the KYC gate that Descent offers for onboarding clients. Uh, we're talking here about institutional clients, asset managers that are interested in Flovtech's institutional offering. Flovtech is a liquidity provider for crypto exchanges, but recently has also launched an investment product that is also uh, unique because it's a combination of uh, trend following and also um, uh, using the liquidity pools that they, they manage for uh, the crypto exchanges. So again, here we are seeing the adoption of uh, technologies and infrastructure to uh, facilitate institutional adoption. Uh, Lique, uh, the, the um, uh, Swiss exchange, is um, awaiting the licensing from FINMA. Uh, what they are uh, awaiting for, which um, uh, is a game changer, is what is called a license for an organized trading facility. This is going to really change the game for uh, Lique and it will allow uh, to offer their technology as a white label uh, solution. Uh, thank you very much for listening today. Don't forget to check out the report with uh, thought leaders, not only talking about the services they provide, the, their companies, I mentioned some of them today, but also what are their views about the trends and the challenges in uh, how blockchain is going to uh, transform the asset and wealth management uh, space. Stay tuned and I'll be sharing more updates from the companies profiled in the report once a month.